Hello my friends and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking all about using coffee grounds in your garden. I'm going to share with you everything you need to know to begin to use this abundant, oftentimes free resource to grow some amazing crops. I'm also going to share with you some things to consider that you should know before applying any of this in your landscape. Before we get started, I just want to clarify something. When we use coffee grounds in the garden, we're talking about using spent grounds. Once the grounds have had water flow through them to make your cup of joe, the acidity has all but been flushed away. And at that point, the grounds are neutral on the pH scale. So there is no issue there. So coffee grounds are a great additive for the garden for many different reasons. One being that it's a natural organic material that's going to break down and create a humus-like soil that holds water. Coffee grinds are great at retaining water. That's one of the main benefits. Now, when you're using this in the garden, there's a couple different ways to go about doing that. First of all, one of my favorite ways to use it is to just dust around an area where you want to apply on the surface. Now, when you're doing this, you want to be careful not to build it up too thick, because if you do, it's going to actually repel water similar to how dry peat moss repels water because this will become dry on the surface. But one of the best reasons to use it this way is because it actually can help to repel slugs and snails. So when it's on the surface like this, if you dust around your crops, there's a good chance that you're gonna have less of an impact with slugs and snails affecting your new crops that you're planting in your garden. Another one of my favorite ways to distribute the grinds is to sprinkle it and then to just work it in to my mulch or if I didn't have a mulch down, just kind of work it into the soil just like that. Very easy to do. Now the absolute best way, in my opinion, to use coffee grounds is to add it into your compost pile, your compost bin, or even your worm bin. If you are adding this into a compost bin or a compost pile, up to 20% coffee grounds will suffice. And this has an added side benefit. It's gonna to help to heat up the pile so that things break down even quicker. And the reason for that is that coffee grounds are high in nitrogen. They're about 2% by volume. Now, once again, you wanna have a good balance of greens to browns in your compost pile. So, like I said, if you stick to about 20% or less, you're gonna have a desirable effect. Now, if you're adding this into a worm bin, you're gonna get another side benefit of helping your worms to be healthy. Worms need gritty material. Coffee grounds accomplish that for you. When they consume these grounds, it actually helps them to digest the food in their gut. So you're doing your worms a favor and those worms are processing these grinds and turning it into worm castings, one of the best fertilizers on the planet. And if you're not already worm farming, well, vermicomposting is an invaluable asset to any gardener. So easy to do. Let me show you what we have underneath this top layer here. The nutrients and the beneficial microbes found in worm castings are one of the absolute best fertilizers for any garden, helping to build amazing soil quality and very healthy plants resilient to pest and disease. And to feed them some of these grounds, you just sprinkle it in like so. And then you can cover it back up. This just helps to keep things moist and it also keeps it nice and dark in there for them. Really fast, my friends, if you're enjoying today's content or you found it helpful or useful in any way, do me a favor and smash that like button for me. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. New uploads every week, sometimes every day, and we're always giving you updates on all the different things growing on around here. And tap that notification bell as well so you can stay in the loop and never miss a future episode. And if you'd be so kind as to leave us a comment as well, we absolutely love hearing from you. It means a lot. Thank you so much, everybody. And now something that you should truly consider before adding coffee grounds in your garden or before you even have that next cup of coffee. And that is that the coffee plant itself is one of the most heavily sprayed chemically treated crops in the entire world. Everything from synthetic fertilizers, fungicides, pesticides, insecticides are found on the crop. And it's for that reason that I highly recommend that you only consume organic coffee if you can. I know it can be a bit expensive, but it's an investment in your health. And in this case, since we're talking about gardening, you're investing in your soil's health as well. And keep in mind that if you're picking up grounds from your local coffee shop, you're not gonna be getting organic grounds. You're gonna be getting a mix of all types of different commercial standard coffee grinds. So 
you want to keep that in mind. You're probably going to be best off if you're picking them up for free to process it first through a worm bin. Worms aren't harmed by these different elements that are found within the grinds. They do just fine in my experience or putting it into a compost pile and letting things break down, heat up before you apply into your garden. With that being said, don't be too overly concerned about it as the plant tissue itself is actually a filter as well. So things that are found in the soil, although you want the cleanest organic soil that you can have, once it filters through the plant, the end result in the fruit or the vegetable is a much cleaner and pure water than you're gonna get out of the tap for sure. So don't let it stop you from using some of these products, but be aware of it. And again, invest in your health, try to buy organic if you can. It's a few dollars more, but it adds up to a great difference in your life and into the soil life. Now, the key to successful gardening, in my opinion, isn't just the end product, the crops that we grow. Of course, we all wanna grow amazing fruits and vegetables that taste delicious, but it comes down to the simplicity of it, the cost of it as well. So don't overly concern yourself by having to try to do everything perfect. Just do the best you can with what you got. And I'm sure you're gonna find, as I have, that the garden is always gonna offer you the solutions you need to balance things out and get to where you need to go. I see the garden as a perfect analogy for life in that the soil is the foundation. And if you can build that soil and create a solid foundation, you're gonna grow amazing crops. And I look at, in my own life, my faith the same way. My faith in God and the way that I lead my life on a day-to-day -day basis, turning away from sin, trying to become the best version of Daniel that I can, is my foundation for everything else that I'm able to create in my life. And a balanced approach to all of this is so important. So take time, slow down a bit, smell the roses, observe nature. You can see how everything is working together to create the beauty and the abundance that we all desire. And it shows me how important it is and how interconnected we all are in this life. And I feel like the best thing that we could be doing right now is putting aside our differences and putting love at the forefront. I think if we can do that, we're going to move forward into a beautiful future full of abundance for all. I now want to take a moment and share with you a quick tip. If you use these coffee pods, these K-cups that are so common and popular these days, or maybe you're able to just get your hands on these at your workplace and whatnot, there's a very easy way to extract the coffee from these and then recycle this product. We really need to do our best to recycle this plastic and foil that's on the top here. So all you need to quickly extract the coffee and recycle these is this little tool here, which I've been using for quite some time. It's called Recycle a Cup. And it has these little razors that protrude on either side when you press these buttons in. And all you do is you place this over the top of the cup engage those buttons. So grab it at the base, it's nice and strong, and just give it a twist clockwise. And the top pops off like so. You can then easily extract the coffee, and the filter is also recyclable. You can just throw that right into the garden, into your worm bin. And in just a second, you have a recyclable product. You may or may not need to remove the foil, depending on the recycling guidelines in your area but you can go through dozens of these pods in just a couple minutes and have an abundance of coffee for your garden. So we're gonna end this video right here. Hopefully I offered you some value for your time today. So with that, I wanna thank you all for watching. Have yourself a good one. Until next time, this is Dan from plantabundance.com. Take care, I'll be talking to you again soon.